McDonald's Vlog, hello to everyone listening. Today, I write an article about TED in Vietnam through two foreign languages. February 10, 2024, is the first day of TED in Vietnam. Year of the Dragon. Happy New Year. Name, TED, shortened from Tet Nguyen Dan, literally written as TED, meaning festival, only used in festival names, and Yuan means the first day of the year. Both words are of Sino-Vietnamese origin. Lunar New Year is the beginning of the new year, calculated according to the lunar or lunisolar calendar. The lunar calendar follows the lunar phase, while the lunisolar calendar follows both the lunar phase and the time of the solar year. This event is celebrated by many cultures in different ways, on different days. Lunar New Year celebrations in East and Central Asia, such as Lunar New Year, are based on the lunisolar calendar. Some Lunar New Year celebrations, such as those in Korea and Vietnam, often fall on the same day as Chinese celebrations in late January or February, due to being based on the Chinese calendar or a variation of it. It. However, celebratory customs and holiday times may vary. The Lunar New Year celebrations of other cultures, such as the Burmese, Cambodian, Laotian, Sri Lankan, and Thai, are based on the Buddhist calendar and take place in mid-April. In the United States, Chinese New Year is associated with Chinese Americans, and Chinese New Year is the official name of the celebration and holiday in some countries such as Singapore, Brunei, and Malaysia. However, this celebration has been officially called the Spring Festival in China since the founding of the Republic of China in 1911. Most East Asian countries celebrate Lunar New Year on the same day. Japan, with the exception of the Ryukyu Islands, currently celebrates only the Solar New Year, in addition to the rest of the lunisolar celebrations, called Little New Year, Kashigatsu, which occurs on the 15th day of the first lunar month, according to the Japanese calendar. Japan. Tibetans and Mongolians celebrate the New Year in February or early March, based on the closely related Tibetan calendar. Chinese Mongols celebrate Saga Ansar, according to the Chinese calendar. The Uyghurs adopt the Chinese calendar, and the Mongols and Tibetans adopt the Tibetan calendar. Depending on the year, Tibetan New Year may coincide with Lunar New Year, or take place about a month later. China. The history of the Lunar New Year festival can be traced back more than 4,000 years ago. The first Chinese New Year celebration can be traced back to the Warring States period. In Lushu Chuanqiu, an exorcism ritual called Big Nua is performed on the last day of the year to exorcise diseases in Qin or Bang. Later, after the Qin dynasty unified China and the Qin dynasty was established, this ritual continued. It evolved into a thorough house cleaning in the days before Lunar New Year. The celebration of the beginning of the new year was first mentioned during the Han dynasty. The celebration is recorded by stating, the starting day of the first month, called Jing Nat. Children, wives, grandchildren, great-grandchildren all serve pepper wine to their parents, toasting their parents. That is a prosperous attitude. Lunar New Year is the largest ancient traditional festival in China, commonly known as Guanyin. This festival means the beginning of spring and the arrival of the new year. Chinese Lunar New Year customs include posting New Year couplets, buying New Year items, and having dinner together. Koreo. The earliest references to New Year in Korea are found in 7th century Chinese historical works, which follow the Korean calendar, influenced by the Tang dynasty, of the dynasty's calendar system. The record of Korean New Year celebrations is found in Samguk Yusa, Memories of the Three Kingdoms, compiled in the 13th century. Under the rule of the 21st King of Silla, New Year was celebrated in 488 AD. After that, Korean New Year celebrations continued to take place in Goryeo and Joseon. In the 13th century, Korean New Year was one of nine major Korean festivals, including ancestral rituals, according to the Korean historical work, Goryeosa. In contrast to red envelopes, Tet in Korea tends to use white envelopes. Taiwan New Year in Taiwan Although there is little history recording when Chinese New Year was first celebrated in Taiwan, it is known that the indigenous people had other rituals. 
It may have been first celebrated by the Hakka people, or the Haklo people who migrated from parts of mainland China, to the island during the 17th century. Since Taiwan's population is mainly Han Chinese, the celebration the country's Lunar New Year is very similar to mainland China, especially in terms of traditions. However, in modern times, people may focus more on visiting Buddhist, or Taoist, temples with extended family members. There are also notable variations to the foods eaten during this time, such as the consumption of pineapple cakes and other products derived from pineapple, or daikin. Because the latter is a homophone with luck in Fujian, Japan, some regions of Japan, including Okinawa Prefecture and the Amami Islands in Kagoshima Prefecture, celebrate Lunar New Year on the first day of the lunar calendar. In Japan, Lunar New Year is not a holiday. South Asia, these traditional South Asian lunisolar celebrations are held according to the local lunisolar calendar. They were influenced by Indian tradition, marking the system of lunar months in a sidereal year. A separate solar new year also exists for those regions of India, which use the solar months within a solar sidereal year. India. Various lunar calendars continue to be used throughout India in traditional and religious life. However, they differ from the Chinese lunar solar calendar used in East Asia. The two most popular Lunar New Year celebrations in India are Diwali and Gudi. Diwali usually falls in October or November, and Gudi usually falls in April. Southeast Asia Lunar New Year celebrations in Southeast Asia are held according to the local lunisolar calendar and are influenced by Hindu traditions and by Muslim traditions. Malaysia Malaysia is a multicultural country. The three dominant ethnic groups in Malaysia are the Malays, Chinese, and Indians. Each group has its unique culture and traditional festivals. The declared holidays are based on three important festivals celebrated by the Malays, Chinese, and Indians, Hari Raya Puesa, Lunar New Year and Deepa Valley, respectively. Because the timing of these three important festivals often changes, depending on the lunar calendar, they sometimes take place close to each other, exactly every 33 years. Malaysians have named this phenomenon Kongsi Raya, or Gongshi Raya, a Malaysian compound word, denoting Lunar New Year and the festival, Hari Raya Adilfitri. Singapore. Lunar New Year is officially known as Lunar New Year in Singapore. It is celebrated in Singapore, mainly by members of the Chinese diaspora, who make up three quarters of the population. They include the Fujian, Cantonese, and Chaozhou people. They come from southeastern China, Hainanese, from the island province of Hainan, Hakka, a migrant group spread across China, and Paranakan, who have lived in the area for more than 400 years, and also have mixed Malay and European ancestors. Each ethnic group has its own set of traditions, as well as creating new traditions, incorporating elements from other cultures, such as the Malays and Indians. Vietnam Tet in Vietnam Some people believe that the earliest Lunar New Year celebration in Vietnam was organized by Emperor Tru Da. The Chinese brought with them their own policies, culture and traditions. The Lunar New Year was transmitted to the Vietnamese people and survived relatively intact over the centuries, despite the uneasy, and often hostile, relationship between the two countries. The main difference between the Chinese calendar and the Vietnamese calendar is that, the Vietnamese zodiac replaces the ox and the cat in the Chinese zodiac, respectively, with the ox and the cat. However, it is worth noting that Tet Nguyen Dan, also known as, Spring Festival, is celebrated in late January, or the first half of February, coinciding with the beginning of spring in the northern regions of Vietnam, south, and part of southern China, where the ancient Alasis kingdom of Laos, Thailand, and parts of the Baiwa people, were located. The celebration marks the beginning of a new growing season, especially rice. In addition, there is also a historical legend about the origin of Ban Chung, starting from Tet. All early records of this country have been destroyed, over millennia, by many invasions from many different groups. Vietnamese Lunar New Year can also be traced back to the Lai Dynasty, 1009 AD, to 1226 AD. Vietnamese people often celebrate Tet by getting tattoos, 
drinking rice wine, eating beetle, making bon chung and salting onions. During the reign of King Le Ton Tong, 1442-1497, Tet was considered an important festival in Vietnam. Lucky money is also given during Lunar New Year. Tet, short for Lunar New Year, is the most important holiday in Vietnamese culture. Tet celebrates the arrival of spring, based on the Vietnamese calendar, mainly on the Chinese lunisolar calendar, and is usually dated in January or February of the Gregorian calendar. Lunar New Year should not be confused with Mid-Autumn Festival, also known as Children's Tet in Vietnam. Tet, itself just means festival, but is often colloquially called Tet Nguyen Dan in Vietnamese, as it is often considered the most important festival of the Vietnamese people, and the community oversees Vietnamese, in which the Mid-Autumn Festival is considered the second most important. Vietnamese people celebrate Tet every year based on the lunisolar calendar, which takes into account the movement of the earth around the sun, and the moon around the earth. Tet is usually celebrated on the same day as Lunar New Year, also known as Spring Festival, with a one-hour time difference between Vietnam and China, resulting in the new moon occurring on different days. Rarely, the dates of Lunar New Year in Vietnam and China may be different as in 1943, when Vietnam celebrated Lunar New Year one month after China. It takes place from the first day of the first month of the Vietnamese lunar calendar, around the end of January or early February, until at least the third day. Tet is also an occasion for people to make pilgrimages and reunite families. They put aside the troubles of the past year and hope for a better, happier year to come. This festival can also be called Spring Festival in the native Vietnamese language, Festival, Festival, Spring, Spring. Suggested 15 Tet Dishes for the New Year's Feast Tet dishes are always given special attention by families and meticulously prepared. Each region and each family's preferences make the Tet Feast increasingly richer and more diverse. Let's join McDonald's vlog to see dishes that are rich in culture and identity during Tet in three regions. 1. Eastern Meat Frozen meat is one of the typical Tet dishes of the northern people. Frozen meat has a pale meat color. When frozen, there will be a layer of smooth white fat on the surface. When eating, you will feel the softness, greasiness, and fatness of the meat, the crispy wood ear mushrooms, and the cool taste of the jelly, which is extremely attractive, served with rice. 2. Sweet and Sour Mango Shrimp Salad Shrimp salad has a sour, sweet taste. This Tet dish is very suitable as an appetizer at a year-end party with relatives. Like most other salads, the water mixed with the main spice fish sauce plays a decisive role in helping to blend ingredients that seem to have little in common such as green mango, carrots, onions, and dried shrimp. With a little ingenuity when mixing salad dressing, you can completely create a delicious dish in the Tet Feast. 3. Bon Chung Bon Chung is an indispensable dish in the traditional Tet Feast of Vietnamese people. In the minds of Vietnamese people, Bon Chung symbolizes the harmony of heaven and earth, and is a long-standing cultural feature of the nation. In addition, this dish also represents the spirit of our people when drinking water and remembering its source. In addition, the flavor of the cake also emphasizes the importance of rice and nature in wet rice culture. Carrying a sacred and noble meaning, making Bon Chung that is square and fragrant also requires the maker to carefully prepare the ingredients and when making it requires meticulousness and skill. Bon chung is made from sticky rice, green beans, and pork and is cooked in a pot for quite a long time. 4. Bon Tet Similar to Bon chung, Bon Tet of Southern people requires preparing ingredients such as sticky rice, green beans, and pork. But Bon Tet is different in that it can be replaced with black beans, black sticky rice or other types of naturally dyed rice. Bon Tet has a long cylindrical shape, wrapped in banana leaves on the outside, symbolizing the motherly love of a mother embracing her child, wishing for a family reunion after a year of working away from home. 5. Cucumber Onion When talking about Tet dishes, you cannot ignore pickled onions. That's why people also have the saying, fat meat, pickled onions, red couplets slash firecrackers, green bon chung. Pickled onions are often used to eat with bon chung or greasy dishes to reduce the taste. Hotodiknamren. 
Fried spring rolls are a unique and famous Tet dish of Vietnamese cuisine. The Tet feast is where the whole family gathers and tells each other stories about past and present Tet, while fried spring rolls bring an unforgettable flavor that blends vegetables and pork with a greasy taste. Of eggs. The spring rolls are golden and hot. Pick up the spring rolls and add them to the salad, add herbs, dip a little sweet and sour fish sauce, the feeling is both delicious and happy. 7. Giolua. Pork sausage, northern, or also known as pork sausage, southern, is a popular dish in daily meals as well as in tet feasts. This dish is made from pureed lean tenderloin meat combined with fish sauce, wrapped in green banana leaves and boiled. Delicious silk sausage will have an ivory white color slightly turning to light pink, the surface will be smooth, and when eaten, it will not be dry, hard, or greasy. Achtajiok sao, joy montak. Along with bon chung, bon tet, and frozen meat, stir fried sausage, fat sausage, is a delicious Lunar New Year dish that cannot be missed in many families' meals. The main ingredient of this dish is meat, pig's head, stir fried with other ingredients such as wood ear mushrooms, pepper, salt, then wrapped and compressed tightly. This is a dish that originated in the north and has now become popular in many places. 9. Bitter Melon Soup In the Tet Feast of Southern People, bitter melon soup stuffed with meat always appears. The word bitter melon implies that all the unlucky and difficult things in the old year are over and we are waiting and welcoming the joys and happiness in the new year. Besides, bitter melon, bitter melon, is a food that brings many health benefits. This dish has cold properties and a bitter taste. It is considered a heat-clearing remedy that helps cool the liver, is laxative, stimulates appetite, supports the digestive system, and beautifies the skin. 10. Boiled Chicken When talking about Tet dishes, boiled chicken is indispensable. According to folk beliefs, chickens bring luck and a favorable start to a new year. People choose fresh chickens, clean them, then put them in a pot to boil with some spices such as pepper, star anise, and ginger. Boiled chicken will be golden in color, without tearing the skin, and is served with lemon and chili salt. The sweet and fragrant taste of chicken pieces served with lemon leaves, dipped in lemon and chili salt will create a unique flavor that is unforgettable. Nem Chua is a specialty of Tan Hoa and is considered by people here as a gift to give every Tet and spring. Some people explain that Nem Chua is used to worship ancestors, pray for luck, and prosperity because it was previously made to present to the king during Tet. This specialty dish is made from pork. After being marinated with spices, the meat is wrapped in guava leaves or gooseberry leaves for a few days to have a sour, crispy, spicy taste. 12. Meat Soaked in Fish Sauce This is a popular Tet dish of central people. Meat soaked in fish sauce is made from pork or beef. Once processed, soaking in fish sauce is the way to go. The ingredients can be pork or beef. After being processed, they are soaked in mixed sugar fish sauce and cooked in a certain ratio. This meat dish is salty and sweet and is often served with pickles, sweet and sour tubers, raw vegetables and herbs. 13. Dried Bamboo Soup Dried bamboo shoot soup is an indispensable soup in the Tet Feast of Northerners. This dish not only shows the skillfulness and meticulousness of the homeowner, but it also plays the role of regulating the taste of the Tet meal which is very boring and high in protein. There are many types of bamboo shoots to use for this dish such as torn bamboo shoots, leaf bamboo shoots, etc. But the two most delicious types of bamboo shoots are pork tongue bamboo shoots and fragrant bamboo shoots. Bamboo shoot soup is usually cooked with pig's feet or old goose slash chicken. However, the characteristic of Lunar New Year is bamboo shoot soup cooked with pig's feet. 14. Sausage Sausage is a dish of Chinese origin, loved by many Vietnamese people. And now it has become one of the popular dishes in the South, especially when Tet and Spring come. Sausage is made from lean meat and pureed pork fat mixed with wine and sugar and then stuffed into dried pig intestines to cook by natural fermentation. That's why this dish has a slightly sweet taste. 15. Braised Meat with Duck Seeds Braised meat is a typical Tet dish of Southern people. This dish has a combination of eggs, duck eggs, braised meat, 
and coconut water that is very delicious and attractive. Braised meat with duck seeds has a beautiful, dark yellow color, adorning the tet tray. The square piece of meat and round duck seeds symbolize the balance of yin and yang. Round eggs are also a symbol of prosperity and fertility, wishing for a prosperous new year and many children. For me, when I'm in Europe, I choose to enjoy Western Tet. I'm very happy that you listened to an excerpt on the topic, Asia New Year. Hopefully the above article has helped you choose suitable dishes for the traditional Tet holiday. The reading stops here, hoping you will listen to the next topics. Friendly welcome. McDonald's Vlog.